In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build this shortcut so that you can run it from your home screen and take a look at a particular file. To run the shortcut, just tap on the bookmark like this. The shortcut runs, this window opens, and my online contact card is visible. It will stay on screen until I tap on done. Also, I'm going to briefly discuss import questions. These are questions that you can set up so that the user can select certain parameters when they download and install your shortcuts. Tap Done to dismiss the shortcut. Did you know that you can use shortcuts to open apps as well as view files? Tap the plus sign to create a brand new empty shortcut. Tap on Open. I'm going to tap the arrow down here, and I'm going to tap on Rename, Tap Done, and then tap on Add Action. The contact card I created is stored on my iCloud Drive in a folder. I'm going to type get contents. I'll tap where it says folder. I'm going to open the folder that says demo contact cards. This folder tap contains to dismiss the shortcut one file. Close the window. That's the file that I'm going to view. Now I'm going to tap Show Result, and it's going to show contents of the selected folder. Let's run the shortcut and see what happens. You could also use Quick Look, but I chose the Show Results action because this action contains cancel and done buttons. That's all this shortcut is going to do. I'm going to add one more action. Stop this shortcut, which will shut down the shortcut as soon as you tap on done. Let's run it one more time. And if we tap on done, the shortcut just stops. This is great, but how can we make it more useful? Here's how. Tap done. Long press on the shortcut. Tab on details. Tap setup. Here you can add questions that you will need to answer the first time you install the shortcut. Tap on Add New Question, tap on Folder, and type a question. If you tap on Folder, you can choose the folder once more. I'm going to choose Demo Contact Cards. And then I'll tap on open. I'll go back and I'll tap on done. And there you can see when I tap on the shortcut, it shows me the contact card. Tap on done to stop the shortcut. Long press on the shortcut and tap edit. Then tap the downward pointing arrow and select Add to Home Screen. To use a custom icon, all you need to do is tap on the purple square next to the name, select Choose Photo, choose your photo, tap on Choose. And there's your icon. 
Now you can see the contact card shortcut on my home screen. If somebody wants to get access to my YouTube channel, all I have to do is tap on this bookmark. The shortcut runs and my contact card pops up. To go to my YouTube channel, anyone can scan this QR code with their phone. Tap done. And the shortcut is finished. Watch this video recommended by YouTube. This playlist contains more tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. Join me next time.